Piaget starts out with the child as an independent learner. Vygotsky starts out with the child as a dependent learner, moving to independence at a second stage. Then the question arises, well, who is right, Vygotsky or Piaget? I would say they're both right. That which, which kind of learning takes place um, is a question of the culture. And even within a culture, it's a question of the task. I think that you're more likely to see Piagetian uh, discovery where the consequences of errors are not life-threatening, are not serious. You're more likely to see uh, Vygotskyan scaffolding where the consequences of errors are life-threatening. You and Mommy are going to cross the street, huh? I want you to keep a hold of my hand, and I don't want you to run out in front of me. We have to look both ways before We're we not going to let the child learn about the danger of being run over through trial and error. There's going to be a lot of scaffolding, a lot of help. We're going to be darn sure that the child has internalized the rules before we let the child do it by themselves. So in that situation, Vygotsky um, presents a more accurate view of the learning process in um, something like imaginative play, where there are no consequences because it's all fantasy of mistakes. We're going to allow plenty of trial and error, uh, plenty of discovery.